Now I recently asked this particular question here and I really need to ask again. What is wrong with Raila Odinga? Because recently Raila attended the Turkana Tourism and Cultural Festival in Lodwa and it was not the first time for Raila Odinga to attend that particular event. In fact, I'm told that since that event was established very many years ago, Raila has never missed. But in the recent one, the residents and the leaders of that particular region, both from the ODM party and the UDA party, denied Raila a chance to speak. You know, the governor for Turkana County is from the ODM party. So Raila was forced out of that event and he reacted to that particular incident. This is what he had to say. A society that forgets its past has no future. Winston Churchill. Our day at the Turkana Tourism and Cultural Festival in Lodwa was truly enjoyable. In Kenya, we must stand united against any and all forms of political intolerance. And yesterday, Raila officially expelled the governor for Turkana County from the ODM party. Let me just show you this official statement from the ODM Twitter account. I'm unable to read for you, but let me just show you on the screen. Also recently in Siaya County, during Oburu Odinga's birthday celebration party, Raila made one of the biggest political mistakes. A big mistake of endorsing Kalonzo Musioka prematurely ahead of the 2027 general elections. Raila regretted that particular mistake and that is why he made a sudden U-turn and Raila denied endorsing Kalonzo Musioka after the Azimio leaders from the larger Mount Kenya region, including Martha Karua, Jeremiah Kioni and the rest, started to rebel against Raila Odinga over betrayal. Just the day before yesterday, Raila Odinga together with some Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders, including Kalonzo Musioka, were in Mavoko, where the demolitions are currently going on, and the main political objective that Raila Odinga wanted to achieve by going to that place was to just cause unnecessary drama because Raila knew it very well that he was not going to be allowed to enter but he wanted to trend and that is why you could see Raila Odinga arguing with the police officers who had been deployed in that particular area. Clearing, after clearing the work we are doing, we can allow you to come. No, no. Day to come. You are not destroying. We are not destroying. We are doing the exact thing what was required to be done. Bringing the land back to the original place. This is not the work of police, but it is not the work of the police. Mm. This is a private purpose. The people who are doing the private purpose. This is not the government's work. It's not the government's work. I also listened very keenly to Raila Odinga trying so hard to convince his Azimio supporters by trying to explain to them on what really happened in his previous five presidential elections that he lost. And in my considered opinion, Raila Odinga losing election has been so consistent until he feels embarrassed about it. That is why he suddenly wants to talk about it. And I want you to watch this video clip very briefly and listen to what Raila Odinga is trying to say about his election pride. But if you're watching me up to this point, I'm requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a thumbs up. Just like so that YouTube can automatically recommend this particular video here and this entire platform to reach out to others. I also have my returning subscribers who are currently watching this particular video. I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take that support for granted. If you also want to automatically receive the notifications updates from YouTube itself immediately, I post a video on this channel, just press the notification bell. Having said that, now I want you to listen to this video very briefly, then we proceed. Well, I ran five times, but really seriously only four times. And if Real time I lost was when I ran for the first time because um, I was basically just uh, going to, to jog to, you know, to <laughs> get to know. But I came number three. But I've never lost. So that is... That is my pride. 
that that will also give me gives, gives me satisfaction. And I can say it even when they're here and say that you know you didn't you don't win and they know they didn't win. They know they didn't win. You saw the commissioners testifying at uh, Bomoso of Kenya, saying the truth that we did not announce the real results. You saw Aida Kibwana yesterday writing in the, in the Star, telling you that the results Kibito announced were not the results. Even the results Shibukati announced were not the results. They're not the results. And he knows it. That they're not the results. But you see, what kept me going is the Kenyan spirit. Ultimately, Kenyans deserve better. And working this way, we will be able to strengthen democracy in Kenya. And one day, Kenyans will have a true, free, open, transparent elections. Thank you very much. But the main question here is, why would Reloading make such statements at this particular time? Because timing in politics is very, very important. I've got two reasons with me. First of all, it is all about Raila Odinga's retirement. I think Raila has come to realize that he can't make any political impact in as far as politics of this country is concerned. Raila is no longer a wave, a political wave like previously. Raila still wants to actively participate in the political stage, but his age does not allow him to do so. Raila Odinga's retirement conversation is not something that you can simply avoid. This is a conversation that is currently going on, including in Raila Odinga's major political bastions in the Luo Nyanza region. They are talking about it. They want Raila Odinga to officially retire and do somebody else and also to appoint a new political kingpin of the Luo Nyanza region. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. And the second reason as to why Raila Odinga would make such statements at this time, I tend to think that Raila wants to vie again in the year 2027. You know, Raila understands very well because he has been in politics for long. He can read the, mi the minds of his supporters. There's a faction which strongly believes that Raila should retire and endorse Kalonzo Msioka, but there's also a bigger percentage of his supporters who strongly believe that he should fight again in the year 2027 because Kalonzo Msioka cannot defeat President William Samuel Ruto. You know, voting for Raila Odinga for five good times since 1997 and is probably going to contest for the sixth time. Those are 30 good years. Yet Raila has never won any of them. It's not an easy thing. So what Raila Odinga is trying to do here is trying to encourage his supporters not to lose hope, not to give up because he has never lost any of those elections. He only lost one. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But in my considered opinion on Raila Odinga's retirement, it is the best thing that Raila should do. Let him just retire, give Kalonzo Musioka a chance to contest. So that is it. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts and your views and your opinions on the comment section down below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Let me see you again in my next analysis. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.